all summer. We've been here just trying to build our chemistry. So, you know, uh, finally get to see what it's all about. Next week against Georgia will be a good test. So we're all excited. You talked about chemistry. Faces situations coaches talked about what chemistry and how on the same page. Yeah, I mean, obviously we have uh, that chemistry together right away. So, uh, but obviously, uh, it's definitely gotten a lot better, and uh, I still have a long ways to go. But um, I think right now it's looking pretty good. I think pressure on your is going to have the on your team. I've been like for you personally. Uh, I mean, it's just what I'm uh, it's a little older playing against some older guys. Um, the size difference is obviously a lot different than playing local Oregon high school kids, but uh, you know that's something I've been working on, trying to get. My teammates have been great too, just helping me, giving me uh, props. You know the other guards who are experienced. My Going from high school ball to, to playing game yet, but yeah. you probably practiced quite a bit. Yeah, um, that's a good question. But on beat of the, you know, in high school you can get away with taking a couple plays off. You know, um, and always, especially being a point guard, I feel like you know guards are always coming off screens, chasing you around on never take. A be obvious. Everyone's gonna notice it. If not, it's always gotta be your head's always gotta be in the game. hard. Yeah. How uh, how well did you and Mookie out of Portland? You're growing up. Together. I've known Mookie since I was in third, and like best friends. We've been best friends since we were little, little. So I mean, what, what, what drew? Yeah, we played on the same AAU team, club team. And then um, he obviously went to prep school in Arizona, so we were away for two years. We didn't play high school ball together, um, but we played AAU in high school together as well with Oakland Soldiers. So, How, how different do you think your guys' experiences were, <clears throat> you staying in Oregon and, and him leaving? Like, what, what do you think are kind of the pros and cons that both of you guys were able to, that, that maybe you have that he doesn't and maybe he got that you didn't? Yeah, I mean, obviously there's a lot of pros that are going to play at a national prep school like Arizona Compass, you know, playing against the best competition in the country. It's almost like you're playing at a college kind of schedule because all those kids are going to play high majors. So that's obviously a pro. Um, I mean, for me staying home, I think, it, I mean, it really just depends on who you are, but I think that benefited me, uh, especially getting to play against some national schools, you know, this year, like in the Les Schwab Invitational. Obviously, winning it, if I went to a prep school, you know, I probably wouldn't have that experience. So that was really cool. Um, and I was already committed to Oregon for about a year. So I already knew I was going to school. I wanted to kind of just finish out my high school career with the guys I grew up with. I knew we were going to have a good year. So that's what drew me back. What, what, what type of player is he when he's healthy? Oh, Mookie. I mean, he's a do-it-all type of guy. Uh, has a really high IQ, smart players, always – Playing hard, he's a high mo high motor, rebounds, block shots, um, can score the ball, defend, you know. So we're excited to have him back. Desire to play for a state school, or was Oregon just happened to be in in the state that you grew up at? And what? I mean, Oregon was always my dream school, and I was always hoping, you know, for that offer, and it came. But obviously, there's other schools in the recruitment process, but. I just built a relationship with the coaching staff and Coach Altman that made me like, why, why could I not come here, you know? Um, it's at home, you know. Like I said, I was close with the staff. Um, I love the program, the style of play, so it was just a perfect fit in my opinion. What was that? Those emotions, their first practice here, putting on the Oregon practice jersey, coming little, out to the Oregon court. It was a little surreal, just, you know, like I can't believe it's it was here. Um, wearing this Oregon on my chest, green and yellow. Like, it's just crazy. Cause I grew up watching the Ducks, grew up watching Peyton, all the guys before me. Uh, so now just like being here, 
being one of the guys on the team is pretty cool. What do you have to provide to the team this year? Uh, I'm just going to try to provide anything I can do to help the team win. Um, offensively making plays for guys, uh, using my speed, shooting ability, um, defensively getting in, getting into guards, you know, just playing hard, trying to help the team win, really. It's been obviously a couple down years for the Oregon as a whole, but does this freshman group as a whole feel the weight of, you know, trying to turn it around and get this team back to where they once were? Yeah, I mean, you know, we're just going to come in, uh, try to do whatever we can to help the team win. We have some seniors who uh, really experienced, who have been helping us um, kind of find our rhythm. And obviously this is all new to us. So I think some of our leaders have been doing a great job and, you know, hopefully um, chemistry just keeps building and we just have a great season. How has Key helped you? Uh, Keyshawn has been great, you know, uh, fourth year. So, you know, he's been around and he's a guard, point guard. So, he knows what it takes and every practice, you know, me and him been battling. Um, he's been pushing me. So that's been great. All I can ask for. He's quick, kind of similar to me, small guard. So um, anything I'm struggling with or whatever, I can go to him. And he's probably been in that situation before. So he can give me some tips. What, what, what's, what's it like when someone's been recruiting you for a few years and then like you finally have a practice where then they're your coach? Like it kind of goes from the recruiter to the yeah. coach like how is Dana different in that sense you know he's always keeping it real with me like through the recruitment and I felt like I mean I was talking to him every day for a while like for a year since I committed and so I kind of feel like I already knew who he was and what to expect at practice so I wasn't really surprised honestly or like blown away by anything at practice um so you know it was almost like I've already played for him or knew who he was kind of when I got here. So it, I wasn't surprised at all. Is, is, is he initiating that? Like, as you guys are talking, are, like, are you texting him? Is he texting you? Like, oh, we like, would just talk on the phone, yeah. call, text uh, all the time. I've actually, during my recruitment, I came and watched a couple of practices. So I already saw how he was during practice and all of that. So I kind of had uh, a good feeling, like, what to expect coming in. Have an established big like Dante, what does that do for your game and how has that chemistry between the two of you been working on the court? Oh, I mean, it's amazing. You know, he's a really good player. Um, obviously, I mean, I don't know. He's been in and out of practice a little bit. So um, <clears throat> haven't been able to do a whole lot. But, you know, just him being able to set screens, roll into the hoop. And then defensively, he's a game changer down low, blocks a lot of shots. Um, I'm super excited to be able to play with him this year. Your man told me that he'll come in in the off season and really early in the morning to work out, and you're either already here or you're following right behind him. Where did just that commitment to to get better come from? Um, I mean, just for the love of the game, and since I was younger, I've been kind of an early morning workout guy. Shoot, starting in third grade, I used to go and work out at Western High School like 6:30 every morning. So, I mean, it's just kind of a routine I built. And then obviously seeing some guys who I look up to build routines like that and see where they've taken it, it's just like, because, you know, the end goal is I want to play in the NBA. And, I mean, I've seen them do that kind of routine and it pays off for them. So, I mean, that's just, it's like, I mean, why would I not do that if I see, them pay, pay, I see it paying off for them? Those pain comparisons are obviously going to come for obvious reasons, but is that something that you lean into or is this, you know, you want to blaze your own path and just kind of stray away from those comparisons? I mean, that's obviously a good comparison. I mean, <laughs> so, I mean, uh, but obviously I want to be my own kind of player. Um, I mean, but his work ethic, I mean, what he's done at the University of Oregon, what he's doing now, I mean, that's just – pretty special he's a really hard worker and I try to you know just felt like I ask him all the time you know like what can I expect from Dana like what should I be asking him like he's always giving me hints uh or um always giving me like um tips you know just what to expect and you know I'm very thankful to have him as a role model in my life how's the knee feeling that, oh, that's good. It's just a little knee soreness.